Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're all doing well and having a really great day. In this video, I want to talk to you all. I was able to get a solo block on Ethereum Classic with these iPolos. I just wanted to update you all because I just recently made a video regarding that I was going to solo mine and about a day and a little bit later, lo and behold, I found a Ethereum Classic block. So I want to go on the computer and uh, talk with you guys that I'm probably going to solo mine Ethereum Classic a lot more. Okay guys, so I, I'm gonna go through a lot. Like, I'm just gonna give you guys my, I guess my thought process in which I want to keep going in solo mining with the iPolo Minis. And you guys know right now, the state of the market, it's been, it's been quite red. Actually, well, as of recording this video, maybe it might go up again or it might go down. Who knows, these numbers that you guys see every day, uh, it changes all the time, right? Crypto is very volatile. But with these iPolo V1 Minis and iPolo V1 Mini Plus, uh, thank you to Crypto Miner Bros for sending me them and also uh, Belay Mining and also iPolo.com. Basically, what I'm wanting to do, okay, my thought process with these guys is now that I want to, I guess, speculate on Ethereum Classic being the next coin that, you know, potentially may go up in the next, I don't know, the next Bitcoin cycle. Who knows? This is something that a lot of people speculate on if potentially Ethereum Classic may have, you know, this next market making event or if there's brokers or anything on exchanges that really pump up this coin that it could happen again in the future. I'm not sure, right? In the next Bitcoin cycle, who knows? So that is what I'm wanting to do. And you guys know that I have found now an Ethereum Classic block. Look at this, okay? 2.52 Ethereum Classic, okay? I found it in the last 24 hours here, actually on June 10th, 2022 at 5.14 p.m., a 2.52 Ethereum Classic block. That is awesome. But my personal luck is 15%. So what I want to show you guys is when I started to like actually mine with this thing. And it was actually on, let's see, right here, June 9th, around 10.30 a.m. So I would say about a day and what, a day and five or six hours when I found that block after I turned them on, right? After they were mining for this, uh, this long, right? So that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. 2.52 Ethereum Classic. Normally, when I was pool mining Ethereum Classic, it would take me about, uh, when I had all three, including my uh, RX 580 four gigabyte card rig, uh, eight of them that does 240 mega hash, right? Eight times 30. These three on Ethermine, just pool mining, I was able to get about 0 0.05 ETC a day. Okay, 0 0.05. All right, that was my, around my estimated earning. I don't have it up here, but because uh, they're, they're obviously solo mining now, but 0 0.5. So what I'm gonna do, okay, I'm gonna continue to solo mine Ethereum Classic with these two iPolo Mini and iPolo Mini uh, Plus. Okay, in case, and then if anyone doesn't understand uh, which models I have here, the V1 Mini does about 130 mega hash at about 110 watts. Okay, according to Belay Mining here, 100, 104 watts. Uh, mine does 110 watts uh, when I did the review video of this. And then they do have the uh, 280 mega hash version, which I have tested, right? Which one I have here, uh, the iPolo Mini V1 Plus. And this one does 280 mega hash, 270 watts around there. And so one thing to think of as well, okay, these both do have 3.8 gigabytes of memory. All right, so the DAG size is something to consider. Uh, so right now, let me just go to minor stat DAG size calculator. So right now, let's see here. I see <laughs> Ethereum is 4.891, right? And I did try to mine Ethereum on these iPolo minis and it just, it would not work. It would not work at all. So if we go back now here to, let's say Ethereum Classic, you can see here the current DAG size is 2.992. So if we were to, let's say, put in 3.8 gigabytes here on Ethereum Classic, theoretically, we would then be able to mine on these iPolo minis up until December 11th around there of 2024. So that's a good, I would say, two and a half years away. So whether or not, 
you know, it makes sense to buy these at these prices. Like let's say the 130 mega hash one is $894, okay, USD. Let me bring up the calculator here. Just, just an example, right? If I normally before, let's say minus my RX uh, 480 rig, 240 mega hash. Let's just say if I were to mine on the iPolo minis by itself, as of right now, as of the current network hash rate, network difficulty of Ethereum Classic, which hasn't been going going down by the way, because I guess of the market, of course, everyone's been you know afraid of mining. But you know, with these iPolo minis, since they're so efficient, I think I'm I'm personally just going to keep going because they really don't take that much power. But anyways, besides the point. If I were, for example, at the current state of Ethereum Classic, network hash rate difficulty, all that stuff, block times, if I were to do that, this is per day, on both of these iPolo Mini and Pluses times, let's say, 30 days. All right, so potentially I could yield about 10.5 Ethereum Classic per month with just these two models here uh, together, right? Uh, pool mining, not solo mining, because solo mining I have no idea about, because luck factor is a big factor in determining uh, how much Ethereum Classic you'll find in terms of the blocks, solo mining, so, but anyways, this, this is a figure on just pool mining, pool mining, okay, so 10.5 Ethereum Classic, as of right now, right, what's the price of Ethereum Classic right now? That would be 10.5 Ethereum Classic times, let's just say, 18 bucks, okay, 10.5 times 18 that would be about $189, okay, times 12 months. So that would be, at the current state of everything at the same time, it would be $2,268. So for example, if you invested, let's say, $1,000 on the 130 mega hash and also then uh, $2,000 on the 280 mega hash model, so $2,000, so $3,000 altogether, we would essentially not hit that ROI or break even within that one year. But one thing, right, what I stated in the beginning is that I'm speculating that the price of Ethereum Classic could potentially go back up to the all-time high again. So what I'm going to be doing throughout this, if this, you know, long, arduous bear market is here, is that I am going to be just keep mining and paying the electrical bill out of my pocket. And then, so for example, that 10.5 Ethereum Classic times let's say the previous all-time high was what? $134. <laughs> a $134 a month. So that would be, theoretically, if I mined that 10.5 in that one month and then I held it all the way up until the next, you know, blow off top here, that would be $1,407 worth. So actually, let me go 10.5 times 12 times $134. That would be $16,884 worth, okay? If potentially the next Bitcoin cycle, if Ethereum Classic will potentially go up again in price, then there's potential there where I could get my money back and then some, a lot. Like if I were to invest $3,000 right now and if I could pay the electrical bill out of my pocket, which, you know, these things, 270 watts plus 110 watts, that's, I don't know, 400 watts or something. It's like nothing, right? It's, it's, really, it's really nothing. But of course, it, it, it is imperative of everyone's uh, financial situation if you can pay the bill out of your pocket. So if you add that all up together, plus your electrical cost, you're still making, you, you still potentially could make a lot more than, uh, you know, just by... Uh, by selling it every day, right, and getting trying to get your break even. But you know, we've all preached on this channel and many other channels is mining and hodling and waiting for that next blow off top or you know the next market cycle is is pretty much one of the only ways for miners to really you know essentially either take advantage or create that wealth or financial bed, whatever you want to call it, right? It essentially it would, wouldn't be called passive income if you were to mine and hodl, but Passive income would be then if you were to sell every day, right? That 10.5 times, I don't know, the $18 that it's worth right now. Uh, to me, that's $180 a month. That's not worth it for me to sell. I, I, I would rather, like for me personally, not financial advice, of course. This, everything in this video is not financial advice. Is that I would mine and hodl it because I see the future potential, the future upside in, ex example, Ethereum Classic. And of course, that goes along with many other different coins out there. The same strategy applies when you could potentially mine when things are low, yield more of the coin, and then in hopes in the future that the coin will appreciate in price. That's, that's basically it. That is, that is really basically it, right? And uh, 
So anyways, guys, that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about. I'm going to be actually moving to a new address. I, I realize I'm actually mining to a wrong address here. So I, I'm going to be doing this on another one and I'm going to be doing a test. I will keep track of this. Uh, it will be on two miners and then I will be, I guess, comparing this video will be a good comparison in the future from now, like a good year, two years from now, where I will look back and be like, hey, you know, that $3,000 I theoretically invested, but uh, okay, uh, theoretically, you know, Belay Mining, uh, Crypto Miner Bros, iPolo.com, they, they sent me these for review. And thank you to them, thank you so much. What I'm trying to get at here theoretically is when people potentially might buy these is if in the future that you could get your ROI or break even back, including your electric, just by doing the strategy that I just mentioned here by mining and hodling and just, just seeing what will the potential for the coin to go, to go up in price to, in order to get your money back. That's, that's basically it. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts and yeah, I'm gonna continue to solo mine forever on these two. And uh, whoa, one thing, I, oh man, one thing I forgot to, to make sure is, let's see, Ethereum Classic. How many people are solo mining Ethereum Classic right now? Let's see, 903, okay? I'm gonna take note of that, 903 solo miners on two miners. So I'm gonna keep note of that and look back on it, I guess, in the future and go along and see if anyone else is probably, most likely, most people, some people are going to move towards it. It's just interesting to know, potentially, how many people might move over to something like this. I'm not telling you guys to do it, okay? Solo mining is definitely a, is based on luck. And, you know, there could be a lot of days where you don't hit a block. And then there could be some days where you hit multiple blocks. It's just, it's very, it's very luck based and so yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing and you guys know my long-term goals with these iPolo minis maybe I I'm actually thinking of uh, potentially buying buying some and getting a few more because I actually find these to be pretty good the value is pretty nice but again it goes back to the DAG size I guess this only really would last for 2.5 years and hopefully that they'll come out with firmware updates that we can mine other coins. Uh, if you watched that previous video, I did have issues trying to mine Expanse and Etho Protocol. Uh, they did not seem to work. But anyways, I will keep you guys updated. Uh, maybe like a month from now, we'll see how much uh, Ethereum Classic we solo mined on these. And uh, I can do a comparison back in this video. All right, my friends. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts. Appreciate you all. Have a good one. And peace out.